Greetings and welcome to Automation Empire. I'm Catherine Sky, and first of all, huge thank you to Dog Hogler for the key to play this game for you today. Um, <laughs> I had to laugh when I <laughs> looked at the name, but yes, that is the name. This is recently been touted to be the next Factorio in 3D. So we're going to try to check out and see if that is the case. Um, I have been practicing the game for a bit and I definitely have some impressions. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Um, let's first of all look at the options and and, um, there aren't many options. Uh, there are a few more in-game, but we'll look at those when we get there. Um, I've looked through the maps. There are many, many different kinds of environments here. Um, you can see there's quite a variety, lots of landscapes, depending on what you like to look at. Um, I think I would like to do the coastline, kind of a nice green area to do stuff. Um, and then each of them has this kind of generic goal of 25,000 kilograms uh, for a three month weight output. Um, that's kind of like, they all have exactly the same goal. Now this game is coming out on November 20th. Um, so just under a week. So let's see. Uh, let's do a new colony here at Coastline and we'll call it, I don't know, Sky Village. How about that? Well, actually Sky Factory, right? Because we're, we're making a factory. Yeah, we, we shouldn't try to make a village. All right, starter mode uh, basically gives us a couple of little buildings uh, and starts us making a tiny bit of money. You'll see that that is not much, but it's kind of a nice little start so that we don't go bankrupt while I'm chatting and talking away. So let's start with that um, and we'll get there in a second. There we go. We get these little tips as we're loading in, which uh, quite a lot of them are useful. Okay, so we're building on the edge of the ocean in this lush forest planet. Don't forget about the island of oil. Let's try not to do that then. All right, so you can see we have a very, very peculiar little production line here. We have a drill, which is on coal, uh, coal ore at the moment, and it has a tiny little connector pipey thing, transfer tube, and then we have a crate maker. The crate maker makes a crate, and then the bot delivers that crate to the truck. And as you can see, it is quite a long distance for this bot to get to the truck. So we're going to, um, we're gonna extend, first of all, we're gonna extend the conveyor belt a little. Actually, we can't really do that at the moment. All we can do is this, so it's less of, of diagonal. Yes, this game doesn't have turnable conveyor belts, which kind of, see, it don't work. Um, you do get some later called step conveyors. They're a little bit different and they only work inside a factory. So yeah, this is a little bit strange, but hopefully we can make something despite this weirdness. Um, I have been fiddling quite a lot with the game. Uh, to get things to work the way I want them to. Anyway, let's have a look around at the scenery here. It is a very beautiful, lush greenery. And then you see these little spots here um, of stuff. So these, the brown ones are uh, black. Yeah, that's black, not brown. Uh, dark ones are coal. These are going to be iron, I believe. And then there is gold out here and then oil and other stuff as well. And um, you can go and look across the map and see what you can see. This is pretty big map uh, as as you can uh, observe here you'll notice we do have water channels now uh, the roads that we have that the trucks come in on we can actually build these roads they just need to have a disappearing tunnel uh, like I like this one it's like disappears it's like probably very steep dip down or maybe it goes through that place who knows anyway um, you can build these entrances and exits as long as you have quite a large uh, place to come from. And of course, um, let's see, conveyor belts also do not cross these, uh, the riverways, but, uh, mine carts do mine carts cross them. And I believe these guys do as well, the claw train tracks, uh, and possibly the train tracks. I haven't unlocked those yet in my test playthrough, but we'll get there anyway soon. So anyway, here is where we're going to have our main, um, loading places for our uh, factory to get our goods out of here. Um, if we look at the charts here, you'll see what we have as demanded and the de demand bonus that we get, the money uh, extra for shipping this stuff out. So at the moment, all we have is coal ore and that is at 1,187. Now, what we can do is we can refine this coal ore into coal and we're gonna get an extra, a about 500 
money for doing that. So I think it's definitely worth it, but we have to build a factory building. So there's a couple of kind of, hmm, kind of interesting things that go along with this. I'm going to kind of look around and see, Ooh, we have a very nice thing of coal over here and a very nice thing of iron over there. Now, there is also a nice combining chart. There's lots of different charts here, which I really like about this game. It tells you, um, you know, how much each crate weighs, and that's important for how many trucks are going. As you saw, we have a, a weight uh, requirement for getting to, I don't know, winning the level or whatever. And there is also weight requirements for uh, other things in research, as we'll see. Now we do have the recipes in the refiner, for example, we have iron, gold, uh, oil. So for example, if we click on coal, that comes from coal ore uh, and gets into coal. Steel plates, you need a combiner, not just a refiner. Uh, so that's a next stage kind of thing. Uh, actually, they're both next stage for now. So anyway, there are various things. You can also do grains and uh, grain meal here, ethanol, different kinds of products. Um, so yeah, let's start off by, oh man, there's so much to do in this game. There's a lot of research that you can research here. We have uh, minecart speeds and claw train speeds and drones and minecarts, all this kind of different things, uh, train intervals and truck intervals. And those are pretty reasonable on the research scale. Uh, some of them, some of them are very expensive. And then we have other research unlocks, which are very, um, more expensive and more extensive in their functionality, like the refiner, which is going to be one of our first purchases as soon as we get some research going. So, um, and then we have step conveyors and claw trains like this claw train, you have to produce, I think it's 1500 weight per, um, yeah. Uh, let's see, a certain three month weight output in order to uh, proceed. So you may have the research points, but if you don't hit that weight target, you will not be able to buy the research. So that's kind of important, really kind of important. Um, yeah. So the first thing I want to do is probably connect these guys to a simple unloading thing. That's a little bit closer to this truck, but I think I want to, let's see, let's do something a little bit different with the roads here. I would like to maybe make a another oh really thing seriously can't build here no 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 don't say it ain't so wow we can only have one trucky thing no must be the lay of the land perhaps no no see now now you can build it oh it was probably because the truck was there anyway huh, yes it'll be fine don't worry it will be fine but we can maybe use this one we need a couple of things for this we need to change the position of this thing um, and what I'm going to do here is something like, I don't know, maybe this. We want to have the bots fly as uh, short a distance as possible. So I think if we do something like this, yeah, that's going to be great. And then put a conveyor belt on the end of this. I'm going to get one just like this. Now there are two types of conveyor belts that we have access to initially. We have the unload station and then the loading station. The loading are where bots drop off the crates. So if we want something to go into a machine, then we would use the load and then unload as for um, taking it out of, i.e. picking up from. So we're going to put that on high. Um, you'll notice we have immediately a no electricity sign and that's, yeah, that's because we need electricity to power the thing. Uh, but right now we are going to continue with this construction and hopefully we have enough money, uh, to get everything done. So, um, I would like to start by, we we'll probably want a small container here, or if we can fit it, a big one would even be better. Can I make this? No, insufficient funds. Yeah, I figured that. Sad days, man, sad days. It's okay though. We'll put this one here and there we go. All right. Uh, and then soon we're going to make some train tracks. Um, and then the way we're going to start this and do this in the order that I'm doing it, don't build your train tracks first because you'll have to move them. Guaranteed. All right. We're going to have this little thingy majingy sucking up the uh, coal that's going to come out of the minecart tracks and we're using minecarts. We're not actually using a train. I keep forgetting to think about it that way. In, in fact, I keep clicking on the train tracks because it is so very, yeah, thing. <laughs> so anyway, what I want to do is we want to get the train tracks one 
tile away, is it? Let's look on here and see if we can get this organized. We want the transfer tube to go down out, basically. All right, so it's two away. So what we want to do is plan the train or plan the minecart tracks for two away like this. And hopefully we can get it all through, you know, this um, little circle of stuffs. But for now, we don't need it to do that. We just need one tiny thing. So let's get our power pole here. There we go. And I think we can actually delete all of this because we get money back from all of these items. Good, good. There we are. And then we're just going to press space to copy the item. Oopsies. Nope, we don't want to copy that one. We want to uh, do an out an out type thing there. Oopsies. Rotate. There we go. Now, to start a minecart, what you need to do is click the track and say add cart. There we go. Um, I'm going to start out with a single track, but later it's kind of beneficial to have a multi-track. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. Maybe it doesn't matter at all. I don't know. I guess it's less tracks if you have just one track, um, because as far as I can tell, you can't have multiple trains. Oh, nice. You can have uh, different directions as well. You can tell it to go different directions and also turn it off and on. So if we turn it off, it just stops in place like this. So this is kind of, let's see, are we producing anything? Yeah, barely, barely, but we have more money. That's the important part. So we're going to click on this. I'm going to build a couple more mining sites and let's see, how do we want to get this done? So the railroad track pieces we have access to is we do have, um, straight pieces. We have these curves that are what, like three tiles wide or something like this. One, two, three. Yeah. And then we have an S bend, nothing in between. And then also we have the mine track ramps, which are kind of tall things. Let's see how far off is this thing? This is one, two, two away. Can we do this? Probably not. Oh, we can. Oh, happy days are here again. All right, let's delete this power pole think yeah we still have electrical transmission that's excellent okay so let's go ahead and get this track go as you see I keep clicking on train tracks because yeah okay that has to be in the right direction okay um, let's also get power to this happy little guy here now as far as I can tell there's no way to um, merge tracks so you can't have like little branches or anything like that but um you can have loops so that's okay so what we're going to do here is probably let's see how this is going to curve up here eh. no that's not ideal how about this can we do this oh we can this is going to look really silly but this is the way we're going to do it it's fine let's do this now in order to get, I, I like to add at least as many cars as I have mines, depending on how long the train uh, track length is. So we're going to add three here, or a total of three, I should say. There we go. And then to make sure that this can access the last car, if you look, can only access what, two? Oh, not even two. Wow. Okay. So we need to add more tracks to this. Um, there we go. Let's see if two is enough. So this sucks it up. And you'll notice there's no music. That's a little bit sad that there's no music um, to the game other than on the menu, which is interesting. Um, but I hope that when we have final release, I hope that we'll get a bit of music uh, because that would certainly make the game more lively. Uh, anyway, we could connect this up if we want it to go in a circular fashion. That is kind of up to you. I feel like we're going to be changing this area, so it's not really necessary at the moment. Um, but as you can see, our bot is already kind of struggling here. So I want to add more bots. Um, so what we have now, if you notice right next to the power area, we have a drone bay. Now this drone bay can only house four different drones. So we need to go and collect a couple more. There we go. So we have four total. And um, if we want more, like we try to put them down, it says, nope, not enough powered drone bays. So we would have to add another one 
uh, in order for that to happen. Now, keep in mind, these are quite expensive. This costs 320 uh, money in electricity every month. So we want to make sure that we don't have too many drones or otherwise things are not going to go that well. Anyway, um, I wonder if we should actually build a second truck stop because that probably is going to help us with our um, throughput here. So what we need to do for that is I might even extend this a little bit so that they have a little bit longer to go. So let's just take it this way, maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, look at this. Hey, this is working pretty well here. So what I want to do also, you can you can let these things um, be filtered or not as you choose. So what I want to do with this is probably, let's see, instead of any, we just want coal ore. Now that's important if you have multiple trains with multiple products um, coming nearby. Uh, and, and also interacting with other sides of your containers and stuff. But in this case, we only have the one train, so it doesn't really matter, but I still like to do it anyway. Okay, as you uh, have observed, probably, we have another truck sitting here, but it isn't actually going to get serviced because you'll notice the red line underneath it means that it has no demand priority. It's off. So we're going to put this on high and again, let it do its thing here as well there are filters that you can say okay i only want to you know load coal here or i only want to load green grass or whatever this is really useful if you have a factory making something here say coal here iron here and gold here you do not want the gold uh bots to travel all the way over to the first parking lot because it's really inefficient in movement so you keep them local and uh, things work a lot better yeah, I highly recommend doing at least two truck bays initially. That's really quite important. Now, one thing that we have not done yet is I think it would be really good to set up research. Um, that's really quite important to do. And um, okay, I forgot what that, that area is. Um, perhaps multiple research bays need to be linked there or something. I don't remember. Um, but anyway, what I want to do is try to i don't know connect this research to coal initially this might actually be an okay spot here i don't know if that's okay or not let's see can we do an intake here oh we can hello that's good um and the reason i'm putting it right there is because i want it always to get something here we go i don't want it to be past the point of fill up here so what, what, what this thing does is, this is a research bay, yes, generates research points, which can then be spent on the upgrade menu to improve various colony capabilities or unlock new structures. Receives any resource as input, returns research points equivalent to the dollar value of the given resource. Research points become claimable after bay processes 20 crates. So you'll see it does actually grab some of the uh, resources and eventually it's it has a limit it has like you see seven of eight and that's i believe that that's crates as far as i've been able to tell for the rest of the game uh, these also have these kind of things contents two of ten um, one of ten and this one is again two of ten mine cards can carry four crates worth of materials uh just so you know that's in one of the the handy tool tips that's uh where are these things they're somewhere up here. They were actually quite interesting to, to watch through and look at. Um, really good for starting the game. And anyway, it, as these things are processed, we get research point chunks. And um, we have to wait until it's at that blue bar before we claim them. I don't know if I'm that big of a fan of this style of... I don't know, it feels very clicky to me, the whole grab your research things. Um, but the nice thing is, is this, you see the yellow light in the windows there, when you can claim them, it turns green. So that's quite handy to say, oh, okay, I gotta go get my research points now. So anyway, that's pretty nice. Um, yeah, the bots, this is actually working really well, much faster than my initial factory. Um, and right now I'm kind of waiting to get some of these research points so that we can unlock one of the cool things here, which is the refiner 
uh, slash factory. Refine your lightweight ores into heavier refined resources using the refiner. Also construct a factory, which the refiner and many other machines must be built inside of. The refiner both inputs and outputs crates. Okay, that's really important. So you can't use this sort of like piping thing. Um, I have to say that when I was practicing this game, it drove me absolutely nuts um, because you have these things, the pipes that connect stuff, the transfer tubes, but transfer tubes cannot be connected together. So yeah, if you say, yeah, they don't connect to transfer tubes and you can't connect this thing either. You know, you have literally the gap there and they do not connect, uh, nor can you sort of hold and, uh, no, it just places one. They can't rotate. They can't anything. You cannot have a 90 degree angle. So you need to use machines like this one, which has inputs on multiple sides. If you want to make a corner, um, that was kind of annoying, uh, in the beginning. And I hope that something along those lines has changed because I really would love to have conveyor belts that have corners on the outside. I mean, Yes, there are these conveyor belts here, but these can only be used on the inside of factories and not outside. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll kind of go through those things more uh, as we go. We're going along. We are making a ton of cash, which is exciting. Um, I think it's definitely worth it to have more drones doing their thing. Now we have uh, iron ore over here. And we have some coal over here and I have great plans for both of those things because I am going to make a factory and uh, we're going to get that going. Hopefully this thing will return us some research points soon so that we can start with building possibly a refinement of the coal so that we can send that off to our trucks. And if we get enough money, what's cool is we can start to build even more truck uh, loading bays like here, for example. So we have them in parallel um, so that the bots don't have to travel so far and we'll get a pretty decent chunk of change. How close are we to these research points? Hmm. Not, not very close. I wonder if we can build a second lab. I've never done this, but I guess we could. Can this is like, I wonder if they connect. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder, let's, let's try. The cool thing about the game is that you can return everything for a full refund. Okay. Port doesn't output really Port doesn't output. It might be for water. That's one of the things you might notice water connected. No. Uh, and then on the same with these things, um, as there's one of the tool tips that tells you exactly what that does. And it is, Oh, I, whoops, 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 whoops. Okay, sending drones, la di da di da, minecart trucks, downward nozzle, clogs. It might have been, it, it probably was on the, um, one of the tool tips on the, or not tool tips, but, yep, yeah, I don't know. It probably was on one of the uh, loading screen things where uh, it talks about um, one of the technologies here is water. Uh, yeah, here it is. Water works. There we are. Upgrade the capabilities of various machines in your colony by connecting them to your water systems. And that gives you, I think it's either 20 or 25% reduction in the um, electricity because of uh, there's no more overheating. So basically you, you pump in water and it doesn't overheat and you save on your electricity bill. There is quite a nice chart here for money. So this is previous month's revenue and power and taxes. So you can see that we are making a good chunk of change right now. Um, so that's pretty nice to deal with. I was hoping that we could just get an easy thing going on here with more research points, but I think we'll have to kind of wait on that just a tiny bit. We probably want to wait until we have the 20,000 points. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can hear Gizmo. He's, he's very meowy right now. <laughs> so cute. Uh, anyway, we do need 20,000 research points to get that unlocked. We're going to wait until we have 20,000 and not before. Um, because if we take it before, I don't know, it might do 20,000 is the limit here, but there it is. Oh no, we have to have more than that. Anyway, um, if it's less then we'd have to wait for another, an entire cycle, uh, to go by before we get that. Anyway, we can watch for the green thing. Um, but one thing to re to think about on the research unlocks, um, is this too. So yeah, this is where we need to send iron 
into the research thing. So we need to make sure to send iron and coal and gold and steel plates to unlock all of these other things because that's something that you're going to definitely have to pay attention to. Okay, so we have 21,000 uh, points. Let's go ahead and claim this. Uh, and they uh, end up over here. We have the date over here. And then we've got our drone population there. We have a good chunk of change. I'm quite happy about this, actually. Quite, quite happy. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and unlock that here. Uh, refiner and factory. And then the next one is the step conveyor, which we kind of, kind of need before getting anywhere else. Um, but we can start building the factory. It's um, it's kind of an interesting thing. So we'll, we'll just do that and see if we can do this to the best of our ability here. Now, I have... Oh, uh, yes, the factory. Mm -hmm. The factory is such that um, once you build it, you can't add to it, which makes me kind of horrified slightly. So we're going to build it fairly big like this. So we have enough space to do things inside. So we'll just put this here. There is a slight danger of building it too big and then you mess up stuff. Um, you can build doors, uh, which we will do. We're going to build doors on the output here. Um, and the, the, the thing about this is you can't drag conveyor belts outside of doors. I don't know why that is. You can try, but you can't do it. They won't go. Not even the step conveyor belts can go outside of doors. The only way that I figured out for these uh, things to get out of the factory is drones carrying stuff from a conveyor belt, which is not ideal, as you can imagine. Um, the other option is you can put a minecart through the factory. So that is a thing. But yeah, good luck with doors. Uh, that's kind of a rough stuff. So anyway, what we're going to do is I have built this oversized just for... Uh, well, hopefully to get things done properly. Um, but my idea here is probably to take the, um, the track to go in here and then just uh, add it from here. Or we could just even take it from this side and then put it through if we wanted to. It does not have to be a loop, uh, as we have found out. Anyway, um, before you add track, make sure to add doors because the doors can only go in certain spots. As you can see, I have tried every combination of shift and control and alt to maybe try to get them like in between. Nope, will not work. It doesn't go. So build your doors first. That's really essential uh, for this process. What I want to do here is I want to make the refined coal. And again, if we want to look at this, uh, it is here, recipes. There we go, coal is made from coal ore. So you just put it through a refiner and it's good. So I'm gonna look at, does it tell us on the thing how many kilograms we did? There we go, 156 we've done. I wanna see if that goes up. I think it probably will, but we'll see. Anyway, I want to, let's connect the power. Let's start with basics first, there we go. And then we also have a power structure here called a power station. Uh, we will build one when we need it. At the moment, we are using 22 of 40 power. Okay, so I'm thinking I want to kind of build the end of this first. Yeah, I want to build the end of this first. Um, and that should be fairly easy, I think. Um, let's see. I have an idea of that I want to make these conveyor belts kind of go to the side a bit. But I don't know if we can do this without the other belts. Let's see. How close can I put those refiners? Let's find out here. I always lose stuff. I have no idea where things are going. Okay. So we can put this. That's the closest we can put this. That's just fine, I guess. All right. Maybe one there. We have to have this guy here. Okay. And this is fine right there. Okay, crate into slot. And this needs to be a conveyor belt. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that's another feature of conveyor belts, which is kind of interesting. You can have it destroy all the crates or just ones that are empty, which is funky and I kind of like it. It's interesting. 
Okay, and let's put in these belts. Now, I'm putting in these X amount of belts. What happens in this game is that a machine will only make, I think it's five or six crates. I believe it's six. That includes the ones that robots are holding in their hands um, before, it, and it doesn't make any others. That's all it makes. Um, so you can't have crates and crates and crates of stuff like Factorio or any other game. It's kind of a strange thing. But anyway, that's how that works. So um, here we need to join this to a some kind of structure here. Large container. I'm not sure if we'll be able to do this, actually. I really don't think we are. I really don't think we are. No. Not without those thingy majingies. Yep. Yeah, I think I think we need the other belts. Yeah. Are we done with stuff yet? Almost. Not there. Almost. No. Um, we could do something like small, small containers kind of next to each other thing. That might work. Let's see. Get this little thing that looks like a muffler here. Um, and then of course we have to have the train track going through here somewhere. So we'll try to get that organized. Let's see if I can get another one of these. Actually, get this one like this. One, two, three, four, five-ish. Yeah. I want to have it relatively symmetrical here. And hopefully we can just get stuff going. But we'll see how this is going to work. These things automatically choose their recipes. It just shows you what's happening. You don't actually have to choose anything with that. So that's nice to know. Um, yeah, I think we can actually do this maybe. Let's see. If we do two of these guys, two holding things, it might work. Or alternatively, make sure you put those... Um, flow things in the correct direction because you could actually change whether these are on or off. I think I'm going to delete this and just see if I can put this on the same alignment but use the other thingy majingy. Yes, okay, that's the right alignment here. And oh, oh my god, that's tasty. Okay, hey, how you doing thing? This is good. So what we could do is instead of two con two small containers, we could use two large containers as well. Um, but I don't think that's necessary. I think two small is just fine. So what we're gonna do here is put two input nozzles here. And we didn't do our door, did we? Nope, we did not do a door. This is scary times now. Moment of truth, nope. We have no no happiness here at all. Let's put that door there and see if the big ones will work for us. Let's see. Let's try to get the big storage containers here. Uh, make sure that this is connected. Yes. No. Oh no, it still doesn't work. No. Oh, sadness, man. Sad times. What we could do, though, we could we, we could make this work. We could actually make this work. Let's make it work. Let's do this. Let's put this through. Okay, we have the through. And then we can do the this. Oh, yes. Okay, just in the nick of time. This is great. No, no, no. Give it back. Give it back. Give. Give. Okay, good. All right. And then we'll put this, make sure you add it on a nozzle. And it also has to be on a straight piece of track. Uh, so don't forget that. Let's get rid of this, copy this, and add there, and grab this thingy majingy. We're going to put this on the near end uh, so that we can have the extra amounts of track needed. I forgot how many pieces of track we needed. This was, let's see, um, under the nozzle is one. So one, two, three sticking out. So this is one, two, and three. Okay, so that should be big enough. Now then, oh, this is very cool. This is really cool. So what I'm going to do is just, we're going to sneak this in. We are going to cut off access right here. We're going to say no, no further. Okay, and we're getting stuff and we're going to watch this process now. This is very, very cool. 
Okay, so it's sucking up all the good stuff uh, and it's pumping it directly into this machine. Is this going to not take it? <gasps> no! Oh no! Oh no! Come on, thing! Does it really have to have the step thing? Let's see if I turn this one off. If, we, if this one will go in. I don't know if it will or not. So what's happening is that we are getting coal here. But... <laughs> But this thingy doesn't want to work. Sometimes it does work, sometimes not. Let's try the load station instead. See if that works instead. This is the unload, right? Okay, it's a different, different color of the belts. It's basically reverse image of that. Let's go on. There we go. Okay, you can see the coal gathering in here. Okay, so this is not happy at all. I wonder though, if I move it forward one and put an, an unload and then a load, maybe that will work. So if we do unload here, yes. What about load here? Nope, that does not want to work at all. So you see it's not connecting. It is not a happy camper. If we put this guy back, is that the same result? Yeah. It don't want to go in. So we're going to have to, though, to me, it's so silly that you literally can't use the machine until you have the next tech. So that's this one here. It's 45,000 to get the next tech. Um, we have 33. I think we can just like let that happen. Get the, um, or even better, let us go ahead. Oh, we have to have another research dome in proximity. Oh, okay. That I have to say is not ideal. We could move this one though. We could just delete it. <gasps> no, we don't want to delete it because it has all of our research points. <laughs> um, we could though get the others going, um, get it, move it maybe across the track from each other. That might be kind of fun. Then we'll just like leave no coal for the, for the factory here. But in the meantime, I think it is probably prudent for us to replace our mine track here. So we can at least get some money coming in. And then we're going to delete this area because at the moment, this is not making us any money and it's just going to be like ruining us forever and ever. Yes. Okay. Let's delete this. Okay, good. And then we'll just go back. And, and keep money making money in this direction because this is gonna this is already starting to fill up but it's not making us any cash so that is definitely not ideal uh, anyway these are gonna be prioritized higher um, that's how I want them to be there we go and take these off these are unloading right yes unloading good put them at high and uh, they will get there as soon as we get there but we need to get there first uh, we'll go and look at this 37,000 right now, 38,000. We'll just let that happen. And through the magic of OBS pause button, we are now at 45,000. Okay, there we go. Let us go ahead and connect this track over here. Yay. And get that going. Let's redeem those research points and unlock the thingy majingy that we want. All right, so this step conveyor is kind of weird but it's okay, we're gonna experience that and it will be fine. Um, right, we're gonna delete these bits. The step conveyor is kind of an odd thing because what it does is it um, ticks every second or so. Yeah, one second timed intervals. It doesn't trigger movement unless every held crate has a space to move to. Okay, so this one should, yep, insert. Good, 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 good. Excellent, okay, so those are gonna do their thing, hooray. Um, and so they should get processed into something. Okay, so it's showing us, yes, there are things happening. There's coal from them, there are hills. So that's proper coal. Um, and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say, um, none except coal. And that's the only thing we want to be transported here. Uh, we don't want these bots going to this truck over here. Nope, not a thing. So we're gonna do none. And then this is gonna be coal ore, I believe. Uh, and then the idea here with this is hopefully we'll have enough 
crates so that we can build a second parking space there uh, and a second tunnel so that we can get um, sort of this vertical movement of bots instead of the sideways movement. Now, I don't think we're going to have enough coal to serve this station as well. I guess for now we can go ahead and set this to coal uh, or well one or both and that's fine because we don't want this stuff to wait on the line. Um, we, we really want it to get done. Now I wish this thing is, let's see, I think there's a thing where it like skips a whatever it's called, a uh, what do you call it, um, skips a car or something and lets the other ones take uh, the other things. I would really like to have, oh you know what we could do, we could do something else. We could connect these things, I believe, if we have. No, I don't think we have because this is the best we have in this and it's not long enough and they don't connect together at all. No, the sadness, the sadness is real. Yeah, these things don't connect. They're just like, nope, sorry, gap. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't understand this uh, part of the game. It feels very weird to have many different connection devices that don't work well uh, together. Um, but that's okay. We're still exploring. We're still kind of figuring this out and hopefully it's going to get better. Um, I'm what I'm going to do with this one. I'm going to put this one to high and I'm going to put this one to medium, medium priority on this one so that they'll fill up this truck first. Um, and then that one will get whatever is left. Um, but this is really good that we are getting this production, but as you can see, it's slowing down a bit. Um, what we can do is something, <laughs> we could do something completely different as well. Um, oh no, we can't do that. I was thinking, well, now that we have these conveyor belts, we can actually do, uh, something else with this probably. Um, we can put this box maker attached to here instead of having two of these vats because this is not, is this going down 26? Mm, let's see what it does by the time the train gets back. I don't think it is. I think it's, or I think it's fairly steady, but if we had another crate maker thing, that would be really good. Or we could also add another coal patch here. We have these and those, but those two are, are kind of synergistic uh, with each other, the iron and the coal, because if you mix them together, they're purified forms, you get steel, which is another big, big seller. So let's see, 28. Okay. So we actually probably do need a second one. Let's go ahead and rearrange this real quick and get it sorted. That was an interesting thought, but yes, didn't work out quite how we wanted it to. So let's just go with this one then. And we'll go from here. Um, sometimes it takes a little bit of uh, practice to get these things because they, they don't like they're weird the way they align on the tiles. But with this, we're going to just grab this, um, the conveyor belt. So the best way to do this, you'll notice these guys have little corners. Um, those are the turns. And I think you can try to do something like this. If you want to like drag it backward, that works, but it doesn't really work very well dragging forward. So there we go. But we shall see these things. Okay. Why is there an empty crate? It's like, hello, we don't have anything, but this is, this is, you can see the stepwise movement. Um, and that's kind of important. <laughs> okay. So it, it deleted that empty crate and that's perfect. That's what we want it to do. Anyway, this is a probably a better solution because I don't think this one was ever going to get much ore. So in this way, we can share the ore in one of these things. Um, let's also remove the extra track. So this is let's see, one, two, three tiles there. And that was that. And uh, I might leave this remnant for alignment in case we decide to uh, add that back in at some point. But this is great so far. Look at this. And it's using all of the materials much more handily. And the reason for having these two conveyor lines with five things is that so you can have enough boxes ready for the robots to pick out if they're waiting for a truck or something to come by. Uh, and that is going to very, very severely impact our bottom line. Um, look at our kilograms, 336 so far. 
um, but that also includes months of uh, just the coal ore, I'm sure. So this is pretty great. If we look at the kilogrammage, uh, we see that coal is worth 10 kilograms per box, whereas coal ore is one kilogram per box. So if you're looking to get these, uh, these unlocks here of the kilogram thing, uh, yeah, go for the heavier materials. But uh, I think this is a good time to end this first episode. I hope you'll stay with me for the rest of the journey. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.